Okay, so some of you I'm sure have heard of the woman the Pharisees brought to Jesus that was caught in adultery. It's in John 8. Um, I'll read part of it here just in case you haven't heard it. But I found something really, really interesting. Um, okay, 8. John 8, 3 says, The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law of Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. Now remember that part. When they keep on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, If any one of you is without sin, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left, and the woman was still standing there. So Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? No one has condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you. Now, what I found was... And this is, <laughs> this is, to me, this is crazy. In Jeremiah 7, I think it's, yeah, 17, 13. It says, O oh Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you will be put to shame. Those who turn away from you will be written in the dust. Now, remember what Jesus did? Um, <laughs> He went down twice and was writing with his finger in the dust. So it says, Those who turn away from you will be written in the dust because they have forsaken the Lord, the spring of living water. I think he was writing those Pharisees' names in the dust. You know, because everybody comes up with all different ideas on what he was writing. But from what I just read here and found, I think that's what he might have been doing. <laughs> Isn't that wild? So anyway, um, that's what I wanted to share quick. Um, God bless you. Talk to you later.